104.5 WFMB. Carrie Underwood with Little Toy Guns. Good afternoon. It's 412 during the ride home. It's brought to you by Big R. Almost anything. Big R's got it in Springfield, Lincoln, and in Taylorville. Tony Boston in for Dave Marsh this afternoon. And uh, the 50th season of the Muni is about ready to kick off. And it officially kicks off uh, here in, well, this weekend. This Friday night. And we've got a couple members of the Muni cast for the Monty Python's spam lot It's sponsored by Sangamon County Circuit Clerk Paul Palazzolo and directed by Mac Warren. We've got John Sivak and Kevin Kulovic in the studio with us. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon. Well, thank you for joining me this afternoon. Tell us a little bit about this show, what people can expect out of this show. Well, um, Spamalot is uh, taken from a few of the classic Monty Python movies, mainly uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and then some from The Life of Brian. It's all of the classic characters that people would know from those movies like King Arthur, um, Sir Robin, um, Lancelot, uh, Patsy, all of those different characters that people would really will recognize and a lot of the different scenes from the movies um, that people will recognize right away and will remember from especially the Holy Grail movie. And John, you're you're actually playing the part of Patsy, which, if I understand correctly, you're part horse, right? Yes, I'm <laughs> King Arthur's trusty servant, and I serve as his horse. I uh, by banging two coconuts together. Oh, there you go. So to make the sound, and I gallop behind him. Okay. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Does it, is the costuming hard for this one for the Patsy role? It's not too bad. It's actually one of the more comfortable costumes okay. that. Um, that of anybody who gets of any of the other costumes it's it's pretty comfortable the pants are like sweatpants and i mean it's got a couple it's got like a flannel underlying like undershirt kind of a thing and then a little overcoat thing it's mainly it's comfortable might be a little hot but i think right i count myself lucky well actually. we were talking a little bit before we went on the air kevin kolovic's here in the studio with us too and you play several different roles and some of those are, uh, are a little awkward i understand yeah, yeah that's a good way of putting it awkward um <laughs> i'm definitely to the point where i'm just like anything for a laugh and i have to do a lot of that in this right. show um i don't want to give too much away of what i may or may not be wearing on stage but <laughs> There are points when uh, the audience will definitely go, wow. <laughs> and uh, it, f- compared to John, I am I have three times as many costumes as he does because he has one single costume that he has right. to worry about. But I, on the other hand, have probably 10 throughout the entire show because I'm playing all different types of characters throughout. And I'm sure a lot of people are, are somewhat familiar with the Monty Python. And um, I assume most people are actually familiar with the show. It actually won three Tony Awards. Actually, uh, in 2005, won the best musical. So a lot of people have heard of Spam a lot. So right. if they haven't seen it and they want to come out, give us the dates. And uh, the curtain time for all shows is 8.30, correct? That's correct. That is correct. Um, we open June t- uh, this Friday, June 12th, and we are open Friday and Saturday. And then we're uh, the following two weekends, the 18th through the 20th and 25th through the 27th, Thursday through Saturday, so the second two weekends. Very awesome. Now, ticket prices, and I know Thursdays were recently added, if I understand correctly. Thursdays were added for mostly family nights and senior nights and that sort of thing. So I know there's a discount on that that night. Yes, and Thursday nights are traditionally our senior nights um, for all Muni shows. And we do have uh, discounted tickets for seniors, um, military students and children. Uh, throughout the entire runs as well. Okay, all right. So the Thursday performances have actually been designated as family nights and senior nights, but it, it is a family show, and families are invited. Uh, you're, you're giving adult, me look family. Like adult family. I mean, we okay. want to make sure. I mean, there are some things that maybe young children don't need to hear, but, I mean, it's still right. something that everybody should come and see, and right. it's, it's good humor. It is It is Monty Python, and if you if you're familiar with the movies, you're pretty much going to see the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so ticket prices, uh, do you have a list of that? Uh, yeah, adults for reserved seating are 14 and seniors, military, children, and students are $12. Um, for general admission lawn seating, adults are $10. Uh, seniors, militaries, and students are 8 uh, children are 6 and 2 and under are free. Now, have either one of you been in any Muni shows before? I have been in, I'm trying to count in my head how many. Several. I think this is my fifth or sixth Muni show. Okay. I've been involved in the Muni um, in several, in Many different aspects since 1998, I believe. So I've been doing several, I've done several different things. But as far as on stage, this is, I think this is my 
fifth or sixth time that I've been on stage in a Muni show. How about you, Kevin? Uh, I've been in approximately around seven or eight, and I've been stage manager and working probably wouldn't you count all that in it's over 50 right yep. well i think one of the greatest things about the muni is that it's all volunteers absolutely and it's a not-for-profit organization actually one of the if i understand correctly it's one of the largest uh volunteer-based community theaters in all all the country that's accurate that's yes. yep. awesome that's absolutely that's true. very very cool to have something like that here in springfield and of course celebrating their 50th year actually we were talking a little off the air in 1950 the idea came to pass and then mm-hmm. i know there was a couple fires and then there was there was a musical put on at a, at a Springfield Park, mm-hmm. and then, but, but in this location, 50 years. So that yep. is absolutely yes. awesome. If you've never been to the Muni, it's a beautiful scene. You get to see and hear, uh, you get to see a great show, hear great music underneath the stars out by the lake, and uh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, all right, so if people want tickets, they can go to themuni.org, or they can actually buy them the day of the show, but I'm assuming you guys probably don't recommend that. The shows usually sell out. If, if you, uh, general admission is only allowed the day of the show. Oh, okay, and okay. So, but reserve seating, yes, definitely. We suggest right. calling ahead before the night of the show. And reserve seating, let's go over that real quick. That is lawn seating, correct? No, your reserve seating. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. The General admission seating is the lawn exactly, seating. Exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah. So there's actually seats for the uh, reserve seating. Correct. Right, okay. All right, well, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add about this show that will entice us to come out and see it? Come and laugh with us, because we're, bl- we're having a ball uh, mm-hmm. just performing this stuff and laughing. We laugh at each other on stage, so if we're laughing, I'm sure they'll... And even if you don't know Spamalot or you aren't familiar with Monty Python, you're going to find this show hilarious. You're just going to appreciate it for all of the hilariously funny moments, the amazing music in it, um, the great, the huge dance numbers. It's just, it's a great show that anybody will like. Even if you don't like Monty Python, you're going to like this show, I guarantee you. It's just a funny, great show. Once again, it's Mighty Python Spamalot, sponsored by the Sangamon County Circuit Clerk Paul Palazzolo and directed by Mac Warren. Again, shows are this coming Friday and Saturday, June 12th and 13th, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday the week following, and again Thursday, Friday, and Saturday the following week, which would be June 25th through the 27th. Curtain time is at 8.30, and we hope to see you out at the Springfield Muni this season. First of four shows this season, so we're excited uh, excited to see you guys back. And thank you, John, and thank you, Kevin, for coming in this afternoon and sharing with us about Spamalot. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you very All much. All right, thank you.